This is Barbara Mill. Thank you for joining Manny and me as we take a moment on this National Election Day for a brief conversation with our Heavenly Father. We'll let him start by reading from his word and then Manny will respond in prayer. Here we go, Psalm 44 verses 17 through 19 and pay attention to these three verses, please. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, nor have dealt forcibly with your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. But you have severely broken us in the place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. Oh, Father God, usually in the scriptures, when it says that we have been covered with the shadow of death, that's reserved for our enemies, for the enemies of Israel. But here, the psalmist is bringing it in a personal way that he feels that he knows that he's covered with the shadow of death. He feels like he's going to die. Then, of course, in verse 17, it says that all this has been has come upon us. And here we are, Father God, facing all that we're facing with, with COVID-19 and civil unrest and people unhappy and churches shutting down and no restaurants and people living in fear. So, Father, we're living in turmoil. And here we are on this election day. Oh, Father, we know that you're sovereign. And sometimes, Father God, in your sovereignty, you allow you people to suffer. And sometimes we bring that suffering to ourselves because Father, for sure, we must repent because we are not a praying church. Father, at best we have treated you like a paramedic and we have come to you, Father, when we need you with a 911 call. But I pray for the God with that, that when we dial that, that 911, that the other person on the other line will be you, Father God, that will respond to us in our time of need. <clears throat> oh, Father, would you help us? Would you help us, Father God? Would you help us and would you cause a reversal, Father, for us, the church, to come back to you, Father, and to say to you, Father, we want to have a new beginning. Father, we repent. We have sinned against you and against you, Father, we have sinned. Oh, forgive us, Father. Forgive us. I pray, God, as I lament for the church in America today, in agony, Father, even for the RTO family, that you will forgive us and that you will be merciful to give us a new beginning, Father God. Because indeed, Father God, we have brought many of our issues to ourselves, Father, that we face today in America as a nation. Oh, Father, help us. Help us. We declare you as a good father. In Jesus' name, I pray in the power of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. In verses 17 and 18, the psalmist makes some bold claims that Israel had not forgotten God, that they had worshipped him as he had prescribed, that their hearts had not turned back and that their way of life was according to his word. Yet they were suffering. There may be seasons in our lives when like the psalmist, we can honestly make these same claims. We are suffering, but not because we are sinning. We are suffering for righteousness sake. At those times, may we remember the words of Jesus and do as he commands in Matthew 5, 11 and 12. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. <laughs> 